For the last question on the review, we need to draw each of these Lewis structures and then put the molecules in order of decreasing bond angle. First, when drawing the Lewis structures, we need to add up the valence electrons. So boron has three and each fluorine has seven for a total of 24 electrons. Boron is the central atom with the three fluorine atoms bonded and attached. If we were to add in the valence electrons for each of the fluorines, we will have used 24 electrons, which that's the correct number that we need. And if you recall, boron is one of the exceptions to the octet rule and is stable with less than eight electrons. So we don't need to form any double bonds. According to the Vesper theory, when there are three bonded atoms and zero lone pairs, the atoms will spread as far apart as possible and there will be a 120 degree angle between the atoms. For the nitrite ion, nitrogen has five valence electrons, each oxygen has six, and then for the negative charge we add one more for a total of 18. When drawing the Lewis structure, we end up with a double bond to one of the oxygens and a lone pair on the nitrogen. So like the BF3, there are one, two, three electron regions. However, there are two bonding regions and one lone pair. We learned that a lone pair takes up more space than an atom. So this lone pair is gonna repel both of the oxygen atoms causing the angle between them to be less than 120 degrees. For ammonia, and there was a typo on the review guide, it should have a plus one charge. Uh, nitrogen brings five electrons into the relationship. Each hydrogen is, has one for a total of four. And then with the plus one charge, we take away an electron for a total of eight. Nitrogen is in the center with each of the four hydrogens attached. We know hydrogen follows the duet rule, so it's stable with just the bond or two electrons, and the uh, nitrogen is stable with eight electrons for an octet. When there is four bonding regions and zero lone pairs, the atoms will space themselves with a 109.5 degree angle between each of them, and this is a tetrahedral shape. The final molecule, PCl3, phosphorus has five valence electrons and each chlorine brings seven for a total of 26. Phosphorus is in the center and then we have our three chlorines attached. So far we've used eight, 16, 24 electrons, so the remaining electrons go on the central atom. Similar to NH4, the, the PCL3 molecule has one, two, three, four electron regions, but there are three bonding regions and one lone pair. So again, that lone pair repels the chlorine atoms and pushes them, squeezing the angle to be less than 109.5 degrees. So if we are putting the atoms in decreasing bond angle, that means from largest bond angle to smallest, they're actually already in that order. BF3 has the greatest bond angle at 120. And then because of the lone pair, the nitrite has an angle just under 120 degrees. Ammonia has a, or sorry, the ammonium ion has an angle of about 109.5. And then because of the lone pair on PCL3, that molecule will have the smallest angle.